Hello, uh, this is a lobectomy specimen or a hemithyroidectomy, meaning that one lobe of the thyroid has been surgically excised. And uh, when we have a thyroid specimen in front of us, the first thing that we want to decide on is whether the pathology that we see is a diffuse or a localized or discrete one. So here we can actually quite clearly see an outline that there is a nodule here. It's a very rounded mass. It appears a little bit darker than the surrounding thyroid. and We'll just look here, this is the surrounding uninvolved thyroid parenchyma. Similarly, over at the other end, we also see some uninvolved thyroid. Now, what is very clear is that we can see this whitish fibrous capsule that appears to be surrounding the entire nodule. So with an encapsulated nodule in the thyroid, we are thinking of a neoplasm. Most often, this will be a follicular neoplasm. Occasionally, this can be a minimally invasive follicular carcinoma as well. Let's just take a minute to contrast and to compare this with a more diffuse uh, pathology that involves the entire thyroid gland. This is an example of Graves' disease that has been also described uh, on this page, uh, as opposed to a discrete solitary thyroid nodule, which is due to a thyroid neoplasm. So we can see that they're quite obviously different in gross appearance. The differential diagnosis of a diffuse enlargement uh, would include things like uh, Graves' disease, uh, Hashimoto thyroiditis, which is usually not so enlarged, smaller and pale in appearance. Such as you can see over here, this is an example of Hashimoto thyroiditis. It's not as large as the Graves' disease. Um, and the pallor is due to infiltration by lymphoid cells, uh, lymphoid follicles. Another cause of diffuse enlargement would be a simple hyperplastic goiter, uh, as well as occasionally thyroiditis like de Quervin's thyroiditis. But those cases would be very rarely excised. Now, in contrast, uh, when there is a solitary nodule, usually the differential diagnosis includes neoplasms, which range from benign to malignant. Now, how different would a malignant neoplasm look? Here is an example of a malignant uh, diagnosis. This is the thyroid parenchyma, which is brown in between, and we can see this very irregular mass. Um, in fact, uh, if you look carefully, you can see that it's almost sending little feelers into the thyroid parenchyma. So it's exhibiting an invasive growth pattern. And also, it's interesting because this tumor is multiple. When we see multiple nodules like this, we always think about papillary thyroid carcinoma because it is quite frequently multifocal.